think people should come. You should come and walk with us and support us. We need allies. The time is now. A vigil to honor missing and murdered Indigenous women and girls. People here are calling for the change it takes to end this ongoing and devastating issue. She was 13. She was 13 years old, lured and murdered by five, five individuals. The crisis of missing and murdered Indigenous women and girls in Canada has been called a genocide. That's why the 19th annual Sisters in Spirit Vigil was held in cities across Canada Tuesday. Here in Calgary, hundreds marched down Stephen Avenue to honour the daughters, sisters, friends and family members who never came home. I'm here walking for my cousin. Uh, she was murdered in 2005, Nina Quarterpat, and her mother had passed of cancer fighting fighting for justice for her daughter. It's really important to take time to recognize and uh, think about them, pray for them. Indigenous women and girls disproportionately represent people missing in Canada. And because of this, they're at a greater risk. Many of the people here know this deeply and many are here to show their support. It can happen to anybody here. And it's very sad, very sad. Josie Nipanak spoke at the vigil. Her daughter Tanya went missing in 2011 and is believed to have been murdered. The first year this vigil was held, there were just a handful of people who showed up. Now to see so many people in person for this cause is gratifying for Josie. So that we can um, we'll host, build allies, we can build uh, uh, safer communities. Right now, there are over 4,000 Indigenous women or girls missing in Canada. The vigils hope to bring attention and call upon governments to keep tackling this issue head on so Indigenous women and girls can feel safe. I walk for my daughter, right? I walk for my mother. I walk for my cook -um. In Calgary, Taylor Broad, City News.